Morning, mate. Rest day tomorrow. Hey. See what we're gonna do? We're gonna get out of the lash tonight and pen on. I'm gonna go to bed. So, good morning and welcome to today's video. We're currently riding into a huge crosswind, which won't last long because we're about to change direction significantly and fingers crossed, have a bit of a tailwind most of the day. I'll believe it when I've ridden it. It can't be worse than yesterday though. It just can't be. I <laughs> can't be us too, but will. <laughs> wow, that works. That's quite impressive actually. <laughs> it's a hot one today, mate. It's gonna be 40 and Australian 40, which, which is means hotter. 50. Yeah. What camera strap is this? It's really good. Uh, it's the yellow edition of the is custom made, fuck off. You bought some Tonys. Oh, we've also got tangled up. Yellow Tonys. The other ones are poisonous. Cool. That was David from yesterday, the nice chap who stopped to give us water, giving us more water and some snakes. Chris's favourite sweet. Super, super nice guy. Thank you, David, for that. Ice cold water was just what we needed because it's getting really hot today. We've got 227k to complete today. We're now in a kind of cross tailwind, which is very welcome. Instead of riding at 250 watts and doing 18 kph, we're now doing 27 kph and barely having to pedal. I'm feeling so much better because of it. We just need to stay on top of drinking. We've got no stops until 140k's in. Then we're gonna do a refuel. For now, just enjoying the wind and the change of scenery. Trees. How much of a legend is David? Oh man, he's a mystic. Walrus mystic. I am so tea. So Yolata Roadhouse, this is one that used to be open, recently closed. Now an Aboriginal uh, thing. Luckily there's this uh, little area of shade with a table so we can have a nice warm coke. This guy does not realize it's closed. He must be thinking, shit. Toasty! We're still warm, what a surprise. So we're out of the Nullarbor National Park. A lot of people stop here and still think it's open. It's no longer open. It's probably about 143 degrees today. We had to replace the headwind with something, right? Uh, this is a lot more bearable by a million. I kind of prefer the headwind. Do you know what I'm going to have with my dinner, mate? How many flies have I got on my face? Right now, none. One, one, two, one. <laughs> Snake. Right, let's roll. Got a bit of a uh, little bit of salt on me. It's quite hot. Let's keep the T-Rexes out again, mate. Protecting us. It's not going to stop kangaroos though. They could just jump over it. So yeah, what? but T-Rexes won't get for it, mate. What's that stop? It's got a hole in it. The glass gathered in the sun cream on my eye. I knew that would happen this morning when I accidentally put it on my eyelid. Yeah. Egg. Oh, oh, nice. Casual egg. Sunglasses tan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's pro, isn't it? Yeah. Sunglasses tan. <laughs> Toasty. So we've been going really, really well today. Um, made it to the stop, 80 kilometers to go after this point. We're actually doing a significant direction change once again, heading left, and we're in a crosswind at the moment. So it should turn into a tailwind for the rest of the day. Could be a very quick second half of the day. It's getting a little bit cooler now as well, which is nice. Once we reach the end, rest day tomorrow. I cannot wait, man. Mix of cool, rich, rich water. 
Should we borrow our mate's bike instead? Pretty pimp, isn't it? He wants a little Tony. I've got him on me. Want a little Tony? See me. Don't see him, see me. Up to go. Can we get attached a rope or something? Only by a few minutes. We're all right, we're quite quick in this tailwind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing a bike bungee next time we do this, mate. <laughs> We've only gone and done it. We've got about 9k to go today been tailwind pretty much the whole day except for that little bit at the start which was grim it's cooled down enough that we've actually had to zip up our jerseys which is mad it hit 41 degrees today which was hot definitely meant we had to carry loads and loads of water which is a bit annoying because it weighs down the bikes but almost there now time for a double dinner i think we have started to come back to reality i just saw a subway wrapper we've just cycled through the australian desert part of the most barren landscape in the world, let alone Australia, into a fucking headwind. <laughs> five more Ks mate, five more Ks. You know what else we saw? Oh boys. Yeah, hey, yeah we saw our boys. Like, I, I can't see. No, your back's fine, your ass is covered in shit. But yeah, you're right. Oh the lady was like, there's a pink lake. We can go there tomorrow, maybe. Or we can just sleep. What's that? Oh. No, no, underneath. Quadruple pizza day. In celebration that we're over halfway. Back in civilization, my friend. You're checking out my tan lines on my legs. Well, they look great. Is this better for you? It's like girls buy cycling shorts now, don't they? Even though they're not going to cycle in them. It's fashion, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I need to explain to people how much of a legend David is. And legend is a word that's too often used quite often, oftenly, but he is a legend. I don't know how much he's in the videos already. So he must appear three times, yeah? So he appears the first time where he gives us a bottle of water each, and he, and he briefly mentioned to us then that he cycled across Europe, and then he just left. He was like, good luck with the rest of your ride. And that was in the Nullarbor with 30 mile an hour headwinds, so it's really well timed. We then met him at the motel, we got chatted to him and he was telling us a bit about how he rode across Europe on a Claude Butler bike uh, and how he held onto the back of a combine, combine harvester. Combine harvester. Do you remember that? He tells us about how he held onto the back of a combine harvester in, in Sweden and got attacked by a swarm of bees on a descent going into, going into his gile as well. And he had all these amazing stories about his adventure and he, was, and he sort of said like, when he was doing that, a lot of kindness was given to him and he wanted to reciprocate it. So Just he came like, and gave us bottles the next day as so well. the next day we saw him again. And he gave us, it was hot, it was probably like plus 30 coming up 40 degrees. He pulled over by the side of the road, gave us some bottles, gave us some sweets. And he said to us, I don't know if I'll see you much more after this. And we're like, honestly, thank you so much. Like, you proper legend for doing this. And then lo and behold, we got to Penong, where we currently are. And he's, he's, sitting, he's, he's sitting there having dinner with his wife. And we had dinner with him and, and Sabina for the for the evening and... He was only here because his car broke down. Yeah. But he knew this what was our chances? destination, so he decided to come and see us for dinner. He's He is of walrus. He is well of walrus. It's hard to be a walrus. You have to be a special person. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people that don't know why, what the whole walrus thing is all about, isn't there? If you want to know what actually, what, what how it came around, you need to go back and find the videos. And then it became time-lapse team with a World Tour rider in it. With Alex Dowsett, who shouted walrus probably better than anyone I've ever heard. He is a walrus, Dowsett is a walrus. Yeah, good walruses. Walry. Walro. Walrus.